what's up guys it's me kesey and i'm back here with another video for you guys i hope you guys enjoy this tutorial like i hope you enjoy all my other ones and if you haven't seen them go check them out comment like subscribe let me guys know what you feel and if you want me to do more beginner friendly looks because i can <laughs> i have one go check it out um I wanted to get into these lashes real quick. I know I don't do my lashes on camera all the time, but I do like some lashes and I forgot, I didn't, I wasn't able to tell you guys what kind of lashes I used in one of my tutorials. So I definitely got them again. I can't remember which ones cause I just realized there's like three different kinds. So these are all three kinds, okay? I used the Glam Icon. These are called Iconics. And they are so good. They're 3D lashes. These are Iconic and 07. I have some in 19. And these are... These are Chick Icon. These are so cute. I felt... Uh, these are so cute. These are Natural con Icon. They have three different types. And they're only $4.99. I know y'all see that price. So go get you some, sis. They're at the beauty supply store. If they don't have them, tell them to get them. So you can be lit just like me for on a budget, okay? Because we... I don't know about buying all these mink lashes for like $100. I'm just kidding, guys. But like, comment, subscribe. Hit that post notification bell just to be notified whenever I upload a look. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Welcome back you guys. So we're going to go right in and do our base with this Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in the shade Deep. I'm going to go into this Maybelline Lemonade Craze palette and we're going to use the color Sherbet and we're just going to build that on top of our eyelid. Now I did have to build with these colors and I did have a lot of fallout but I worked it out. Now we're going to take this fluffy brush and just blend that all the way to the top because I did not set these eyelids at all. Now I'm going to go back into that palette and take Berry Ice on this blending brush and just build that color on top of that and blend that out. I pat the colors on there first and then you blend it out. Just so that it's a little more pigmented. I'm just going to build this color ice pop to the outer corner of my eye and just fade that out into the inner corner. Now I'm going to go in with a blending brush and just have that gradient effect. Just blend those out. You want to blend your eyeshadows. Now I'm going to take this Morphe brush and I'm going to, I'm not going to cut the crease. I'm just putting a little um, concealer there so that these shimmer shades can be a little more pigmented. We're going to go in with Strawberry Lemonade and Citrus. And I'll just put those colors on top of each other. So we're going to go back into that same palette, guys. I did not switch palettes this time. And we're going to use a small crease brush just to... Put build up color to the outer corner of my eye. I know I keep saying build up because I really want you guys to know I had to build up with this palette. Then we're going to blend that out. Just merge those the shimmer shade and old fashioned together so that you know you have that real nice gradient effect. So we're going to go on our eye with a makeup wipe and just wipe that off. Go in my e.l.f. mascara, black mascara, and just apply that. Then we're going to go in with e.l.f. liquid liner, just because we did e.l.f. mascara, honestly. Now I'm going to use those lashes I showed you guys in the beginning. And make sure when you apply your glue that you, before you apply your lash, the glue is dry and a little tacky. Like you don't, you don't want the glue to dry all the way just until it gets white and the white becomes clear. I'll show you guys what glue I use in another tutorial. I don't know why I didn't show it in this one. I'm just priming my face right here with some ultra primer, ultra primer, sorry guys, and 
Then I'm gonna go on my Maybelline Superstay foundation on this brush I got from Primark my first time in there and I bought makeup brushes and they're so soft I can't believe how soft they were Now I'm going in with my Tarte Shape Tape in the same shade I used to do the foundation for our eyeshadow in the shade deep and I'm just gonna highlight my highlighted points you guys should know this part under your eyes the bridge of your nose your forehead cupid's bow and your chin And I use this Morphe buffer brush and just buff that out. I like this way more than a beauty blender to be honest. Now I'm going to use this Morphe brush. Um, everything's going to be listed below because I really can't remember them right now. But I hope you guys can see them properly. And just contour your face. I'm doing my cheekbones, um, my forehead, and under my chin. And we're going to contour the nose with powder. We know that I don't like the cream contour on my nose. Now I'm going to go in with my Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder in 35 Deep and we're just going to press that into my skin, like press it, press it, press it, press it. It just comes out so much better. Now I'm going to go into this Maybelline contour palette and we're just going to use that for bronzer. Guys, I don't know what it is about makeup and these facial expressions that I be doing. <laughs> I am so sorry. I'm just, I be watching it sometimes and I don't know what be going on. <laughs> And I'm just going to wipe away all that powder that might have got left behind that didn't get pressed into my skin. And go ahead and contour this nose with this LA Girl pressed powder in the shade Coco.
go ahead and blend all that in just let it melt into your skin now I'm gonna go ahead and spray my face with this mix to be spray and your face with something just make sure it's dry before you apply anything else now I'm gonna use this NK dual blush and I use the pink one and I got this brush from the same place as the foundation brush <laughs> no blush don't really show on me like you guys know but I don't know it came up this time sis I don't know if it's the new light in I don't know what it is but I've seen that blush and it was just so cute now I'm gonna go in with this wet and wild highlighter everything's gonna be literally listed down below just read that read the description Same highlighter, different brush. I don't know when to stop. <laughs> I'm just gonna go ahead and put all that out. Chapstick because wintertime does not like to play. <laughs> This is my Ruby Kisses Old Boy, and the other one is, I forgot the shade name, but we're going to go ahead and put that in the description, of course. It's just a nudish pink. Then I'm gonna take this brown liner. I love the shopping in it. See how fast the shopping is so good. I got that years ago from Sephora. <laughs> We're just gonna melt these colors together. And I did gloss this lip. I did not leave it matte. And it was just so much better. It's so beautiful. And y'all know I gotta get y'all into these slow mos. <laughs> So thank you guys for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. I really do appreciate each and every one of you. All the new subscribers. I hope you enjoyed this as well. Thank you for subscribing. Um, guys, see you in the next one. <laughs>